what's up y'all welcome back to my youtube channel um if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe and if you've been rocking with me make sure you leave a like because that would help an entire lot and uh make sure that you leave a comment so i just want to talk um i have some other videos that i've been doing but i just have not I guess uploaded them yet because I'm not really sure what I want to do but let's put this disclaimer in the beginning if you do not like my voice that is your problem get off of my channel and if you feel like you can do it better sweetie then go and do that I have literally let that idiotic statement about my voice get me to the point where I started sitting here wondering if it's something really wrong with my voice like if I really do sound horrible or something I'm 4'11 so if I had a voice of a man then you'd be like oh my goodness you're 4'11 why is your voice so deep somebody even got on here and said my voice sounds like auto-tune I don't even know if that's a compliment or what but um yeah if you don't like it nobody's forcing you to be here you know what i'm saying you're not being held here so leave leave and with this video i was gonna go on camera and you know get all pretty and all of that stuff but i am just in too much pain um i just my last hospital admission was september the 4th to september the 8th and yeah to other people it's like okay it's been almost two weeks or a week and a half you should be better by now no that is not how sickle cell works sickle cell oh yeah 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 it's sickle cell awareness month y'all september is sickle cell awareness month but with sickle cell you don't just bounce back like after someone who maybe has a broken ankle or they tore their ACL yeah they might with time they might get better but that's not how sickle cell works like you could literally get out of the hospital and two three days later re-trigger yourself into another crisis and be back in there like you could it could be stress the weather things like that and I've been going through a lot especially since september the 13th because like i said i had so much planned i had videos that i was doing i wanted to do like a fact about sickle cell every single day for uh -uh, for the whole let me get some water for the whole september but i didn't get to do that because like i said i've been just trying to get it together mentally physically emotionally spiritually financially whatever you want to call it i've been trying to get there i'm not using my um headphones because they're dead usually i'll use my little microphone but i don't feel like doing all that because this is my youtube channel and i feel like whatever i want to put on here if i want to be open if i you know what i'm saying it's my channel i should be able to do that and for the ones who support me i love y'all so so much at this point i don't think i'm gonna get monetized and i don't care because i've been doing this thing with youtube since jojo died yeah little jojo yeah that jojo yeah chicago's jojo i've been doing this since april 2012 and I started out doing it because of him basically my very first video was about Jojo and um, before he died he was like hey yeah you should definitely you need to make a channel or something like you hot you it never did it then when he died you know that's how this channel came about don't know if you guys knew that so I wanted to tell you guys that so if you ever see me talking about jojo if you ever hear me talking about smiles mr even duck it's history behind that 
I don't know if I can go and find all the old pictures or, you know, Facebook messages, text messages. I doubt that I could ever recover any of that because I didn't expect for them to not be here. It's like I'm trying not to cry, but I didn't expect for them to not be here. I mean, JoJo, that, yes, I was shocked about that when that happened. Yes, I was. As genuine or as, you know, how do I put this? As y'all may say, the lifestyle you live, like if you live by the gun, you die by the gun. I didn't see that. I never do. So, yeah, this stuff, it, it caught me off guard. But I've literally stopped doing videos because I was tired of people making comments about my voice. And so I apologize because I should have been bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I let little stuff like that get to me, where am I going to go? Like, how far am I going to get in life? Not going to get very far. Because that's called something like jealousy, hating. That's what that is. That's what that is. And I actually let it bother me. So for me to be such a confident person... I'm just being honest with you guys that, yeah, I have my moments. And that was one of my moments. Everyone knows in 2017 that I was in a coma for five days. And um, whenever they took that thing out of my throat, I hated my voice because I felt like it changed. And it probably did going through something like that. And then, you know, it's just it's a lot dealing with sickle cell and, you know, you want to do certain things, but you have to remember that, you know what, I'm different. I can't do everything the way everyone else does it. I have to pace myself. So I gave you that background about how my channel started because a lot of people don't know that. And if I would have never said it, you would have never known in the first place because I don't feel like using him or any of that stuff for clout is not cool. But that was how this channel started. And I'm done with the, your voice is this, your voice is that. You can get up off my channel. Like, that's all you got to do. Oh, I don't like her voice. Bye. 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 Like, what do you want me to say? You want me to beg you to please like it? No, I'm good. And this is something we need to talk about is getting on people's Facebook pages, social media, whatever you want to do and saying things that you need to stop saying because if you're not doing it, you don't have a right to comment or to tease or to do or bully, whatever you want to call it. It's something wrong with you deep down inside if you want to get on people's stuff and say something negative. Why can't you just be like, oh, hey, great video. Like your video, keep going, waiting for more videos. Why would it kill you to be positive? Why? Why would it hurt for you to say something positive? This entire video that I'm about to do right now is about toxic people because I'm, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over dealing with toxic people. I'm over tolerating it. I don't have to deal with you because you do not take care of me. You don't pay my bills. You don't, like, wake me up in the morning. So why do I care so much about what you have to say when I shouldn't? And maybe that's a whole backhand on me because I used to be the type of person when people are in situations, I'm like, just get over it. What is wrong with you? Get over it. So what? So what? They don't like you. Get over it. And then I had to be put in the position where people didn't like me. They were jealous of me. And I just like backed up into a corner. And I just completely stopped uploading as much as I used to. Every time I said I was going to get consistent, that little voice, I don't, you know, that your conscience, I don't like your voice. Like, stuff like that, I would be thinking about that. And so I would do a whole video and just to delete it. Just to delete it. Because I'm like, I don't want to hear that. Or I don't want to read that. But at the end of the day, 
it's not going to stop because I do have sickle cell and I have accomplished a lot of stuff. And if you haven't accomplished as much as me, even with being healthy, don't say anything to me. Don't say anything to anybody. And it's not going to be tolerated on this channel. I don't want to see any of my subscribers being down talk. I'm going to delete and block you. We're not doing that. People already have to deal with the world being the way it is. So I'm not going to let you come and put somebody down and make them doubt themselves. No. And this is to anybody. If you got somebody toxic in your life and you're listening to me right now, that means that this, this is for you. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. I just received a text message from somebody who I've known for, let me see, since 20, maybe 2010, maybe before that. And this person is somebody who talks like BS to me all the time and then tries to cover it up like, oh, I'm only saying this because I love you. No, you're saying it because you're full of crap. You're saying it because you know I'm better than you. You're saying it because you're jealous of me. First, four years ago, it was, oh, I'm not doing nothing with my life but sitting in the bed feeling sorry for myself. And that was not the case. Four years, not even four years ago, this is how much this person does not know me. In 2019, August of 2019, I had my right hip replaced. And even though... It takes, what, three months or so for it to heal, so they say. It's not fully healed for about a year or so. So I wasn't going to school. I wasn't doing any of that. I was trying to let myself heal. And to sit here and have that person say, oh, all you want to do is sit in the house and take medication. Excuse me? Where's your house? Where's your car? Where's your degree? Did you even graduate from high school? And you're sitting here telling me what I need to do with my life. And it's my fault for sitting here dealing with this fool for as long as I've been dealing with it. Today, I'm over it. Like, just sent me a text message. Are you serious? I don't know if that cut my video off or not. I hope it didn't. I hate when people sit there and call. Like, that's my mom, but I don't like when people call and I'm trying to do a video because I'm using a video recorder. Not only do you throw me off track, but you can knock the video off and then I got to start over, which I don't want to do. All right. And I'm sure she's, you know, just calling back because I called her because I'm in a lot of pain. But, um... He just texts me and he's like, oh, um, what are you doing? I said, I'm about to go to sleep because I got to do DoorDash later. That's what I said. About to take a nap because I got to do DoorDash. This fool said, um, at Sleepy ASS. So I text back. I'm like, um, that don't make no sense, but whatever. Because I don't get how you're a sleepy ASS because you're taking a nap before you got to go and deal with people. I don't want my attitude to be bad. You know what I'm saying? I don't want, I don't want to be negative. I don't want to be irritated. And I got to sit here and I have to be a people person. You can't work without dealing with people. So if I got to sit here, hey, have a nice day. Hey, I'm here to pick up this order, that order. Then I need to make sure I take a nap so I can do that. Plus, I always take naps because that's just what I've been doing for my whole life. With sickle cell, I've always been told before you're doing anything major, take a nap. Like, try to rest. So not only does this idiot not respect my illness, which is something else that I am so sick and tired of. Because if you know me, as long as you know me, it's nothing weak about me, baby. I ain't ever used my illness to say that I'm not doing something. Never. Won't happen. Period. Still in school. Still doing stuff so that I can take care of myself. 
you're a whole man and all you can do is sit here and try to belittle somebody what you got going for yourself nothing which is why the situation with me and him will never go anywhere because for what what do I want to deal with that for what do you want to deal with that for because you don't have to this is for women and for men you're too good to have somebody talking to you like that you're too good to have somebody not talk to you in an encouraging manner. Not to, that's ignorant to me, to sit here sleepy ASS. No, it's nothing like that, sweetheart. I wake up at 5.30 every morning, so what are you talking about? And I go to bed at 8 p.m. every night. That's what I do. Maybe that's why you out here looking like old chicken grease, and I'm out here looking like a whole snack. Maybe you need to go to bed early. I'm just over it, y'all. I'm over it. And I'm over seeing people go through that toxic stuff. I'm not for struggle love. And I'm not for toxic love. I'm not for none of that. Let it, let it go. And yeah, it's going to take you some time to get past it. I'm not telling you it's going to be overnight. But what do you want to deal with that for? Like, he just did all of that. And it's not benefiting him. So then this idiot texts me. And if I could show the text message, I would. But like I said, I'm doing a screen recorder. So I don't want to put nobody information out there. But I looked at his response not too long ago. And he's like, oh, that's why uh, I can't even play with you. Um, and that mean-ish, it's, it's ugly on you for real. How am I being mean? How am I being mean? This is the same person who thinks you can read emotion and feel emotion through a text message. I can't stand with somebody sitting here and be like, you know what? You got an attitude. You reading a text message. How in the hell? How can you read emotion through a text? You're not hearing my tone of voice. None of that. But you talking about somebody got an attitude. And baby, I can't be too ugly because these nicks all over me. Single by choice, honey. By choice. I could be married right now if I wanted to. But I don't see the need to deal with people who cannot benefit me. And I don't mean that financially. I'm literally sitting here talking about spiritually, mentally. You can't do anything for me. You don't even have a relationship with God, which is why you're always going through what you're going through. My faith gets me through having sickle cell, through, oh damn, through being in all of this pain and, you know, dealing with these rude doctors and rude nurses and these liars. That's what gets me through is God. So I don't too much understand how this person is even perceiving that I was being mean in a text message. I don't know. But all I do know, and the whole point of this video is, if you're toxic, bruh, I'm done. I've had the same number since 2009. And, I, and I'm to the point where I want to change my phone number. Like, it's that serious. Do y'all not see how this world is going? We don't have time to sit around here and try to make people understand us that that have known us for years. We don't have time to baby somebody who is grown. We don't have time for that. It's like if you don't know what you need to do by now, then I got to go because you holding me back. And when you get to the point where you holding me back, that's a problem. When you get to the point where you know stress is a trigger for my sickle cell and you don't care. And you always trying to start an argument, you need to go because you sitting your behind at home, no job, nothing, texting somebody. You're sitting here texting me. Like, I still stay with my mom or whatever. Yep, 32 years old, still stay with my mom. Sure do, because it's convenient, not only financially, but it's convenient for when I don't feel good. Her and my sister, they help a lot when I'm, you know what I'm saying? When I'm not 100%. So, this person is like, um, yeah, you need to move out. I'm like, move out? For what? Where I'm going? 
She don't got no problem me living with her. So where I'm going? Yeah, you need to move out because you um you not getting no life experience living with her. Uh, you need to grow up and be on your own too and see the world for yourself. What? In the huh? What do you mean, fool? What are you even talking about? Just because you don't have nowhere to go, don't try to make me be put in your position. Because what I can say about my mom, she's a real one. She's so good of a mom that she took care of our friends growing up. Our co My cousins, oh, that's my favorite aunt. Because she took care of everybody. And if you needed anything, she was there. Even if you needed to talk to her, they always knew they could come to her and talk. And that she would listen. She wouldn't judge them. She would buy my brother a pair of Jordans and all five of his friends a pair of Jordans. You get what I'm saying? So she's not that type of mother who's going to sit there and abandon your, her children. No matter if we're grown or not, we're still her children. So back to the story. He sits here and he's like, um, yeah, so you need to start acting like a girlfriend so that uh, we can get this apartment. So that we can get this car. So that we, what we, I have a car. It's cash, it's a cash car, baby. My mom told me and taught me growing up, if you don't need to get a car note, don't get it. Because when that car breaks down, you still got to pay that car note. You still have to pay it. Get you a cash car. It is nothing wrong with you having a cash car. But if y'all get where I'm going with this, he's the type of person who wants somebody to struggle because he's struggling. No. No. Then he even called me the word that I can't stand, which is an A-D-D-I-C-T. He's even called me that. And I'm like, how? How? You are not in the pain that I'm in. You will never know how painful this is and how hard it is to get up every morning knowing that you got to take your medicine to just get started through the day. Waking up, your whole body stiffening in pain. You will never know how that feels. And I don't want you to know. Because why would I want somebody to go through what I'm going through when I don't want to go through this? But I don't have a choice. I'm not going to back out. I'm not going to stop fighting. I'm not going to give up. I don't care how painful it is. I'm always going to be like, what's up? All right. Hey, sickle cell. What's up? Time to fight again. I got to win this fight. So that's how I have to think. So sitting here having somebody toxic around me is not going to work. This is why I don't have female friends. This is why I don't chill with people. This is why I don't get in relationships. Because I'm always attracting people with problems. And I don't understand that. Like, I know I'm an empath, y'all. But I'm always attracting somebody who has problems. And I'm tired of fixing people. I'm tired of fixing people. It's time for Kiara to fix Kiara. Why I gotta sit here and keep fixing you? You a grown man. Why I gotta fix you? What are you doing for me? Nothing but running your mouth. You run your mouth. That's all you do. That's all you can do is run your mouth. You ain't got nothing to show for it. Nothing. And yeah, y'all sitting here like, okay, but Kiara, you saying all of that, but you the one dealing with them. And you right. That's why it's over with. It's over with. I can't deal with these men who want to sit here and they want to do everything under the sun with you, but they can't be in a relationship with you. But they want to do everything else as if a child is not a lifetime commitment. So you willing to lay down with somebody and be attached to that person for life, but you can't be in a relationship and you can't be married. Something's wrong with that picture and don't fall for it. All of that, oh, I don't do titles. I don't do titles. You got to earn it. Bitch, I ain't got to earn nothing. Do you see me? Earn what? Earn who? 
You need to be trying to earn me because my presence is a present. Period. I'm tired of you got to go and pick this person up. Then you got to drop them off back home. And then you don't really know where they stay because they lying to you. Drop me off at this corner. What? Drop, is it what? You, what? Drop you, hold on my dude, but you said you had your own place. You said this and that. But then every time I'm dropping you off, you want me to drop you off at these certain places. And then I can see in, the, in my rearview mirror, you walk in another direction. I'm good. I'm good on that. And any woman that wants that type of dude can have him. Because that's not a man. That is not a man. Stop sitting around here like you got to fix people, men and women. You don't have to fix nobody. You don't. And if somebody love you, they're going to be there with you to fight with you through whatever. You get what I'm saying? You shouldn't have to fight them and think that that's love. Love doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It never will. Stop. I know I'm not sitting here saying it's just for my benefit. I know this is for somebody. I just know it. Because I, I didn't intend to get on here and even talk about this. I intended to talk about pop smoke. And this just took a whole nother direction. So I'm just going to run with it. I know. <sighs> Y'all. And I'm sorry, as I said, for neglecting my channel. Because this is the type of person I am. This is how real I am. And I feel like by me being real like this... People don't know how to accept it. Like, I don't want to get on here being cheesy and cringy. I don't want to get on here and I got to say a slogan every time the video open up. What's up, doo -doo -doo, gang? I don't want to do all that. Can we just not? We got enough channels like that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a prank channel. I don't want to do that type of stuff. I want to get on here and say what I want to say and have my subscribers be like, you know what? That's real. If we're going to come to this channel, at least we know we finna get the real. Not this edited, packaged BS. I'm not doing that. So maybe that has been a lot of why I don't do what I want to do on here is because, for one, when I'm talking like this, I don't get a lot of views. I don't. I think I got two videos with 15,000 views. And one video, I was saying the lady name wrong the whole time. I was calling her Buddha and her name was Butter. You get what I'm saying? But that's drama type stuff. I don't want to talk about that. I don't live in Chicago. SN TV News told me to talk about that. And I'm praying for you, my brother. Like, please continue to check out his channel. He's in a situation right now where he is locked up. Um, I did get to talk to his wife, of course. So y'all just continue supporting his channel because that is exactly who gave me the idea for that video. And one of, well, I don't even know if this person is a subscriber, but they got on here. Let me see if I can find it real quick. But they um they got on here and this is what they said. Why am I why do I do that? I keep forgetting y'all can see the screen. This whole time I've been watching and see pop smoke casket drug out of the crib. That's crazy. But um let's go to notifications and I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about right here well how do i go y'all bear with me because i'm telling you child i be losing my whole thought process on here all right so can i go to my channel and i just uploaded a video go and look at it because it says no views so y'all need to get that popping but y'all see my views suck like, they suck, and I, that's what irritates me. Like, I don't like that. I want to get thousands of views. Like, I want that too, bruh. I want to be a top Duval YouTuber. I really do. And I would appreciate 
if y'all would help me get to that point, because I can't get to that point without y'all. Um, dang, spot them, got them, critical condition. And I love how people are always talking about people from my my uh city or my state, and they be getting hella views. Like, I should be getting those views. I'm not saying I'm jealous of nothing. Like, do you? But, um, I should be, how do I get to it? I should be getting to, I mean, I should be getting those views and talking about it because it's my city. Let me try to find this. This is so annoying. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. But I really want y'all to see what I'm talking about. All right. See, here's the one where he's like, your voice sounds like auto-tune. And I was like, thanks, I think. Um, that's somebody who hit me up while <clears throat> while I was in the hospital since I'm an empath. Um, Justin, sorry I didn't get to finish inboxing you, but I definitely will hit you up when I can. And right here, this is the comment I'm talking about. SNTV did not tell you to make this. He don't even know you. Any any of the baby mama and she just bought him a Benz. I said, well, he actually did and that's great. I said, hi, I talked to his wife and she said to let you know what you're saying is absolutely not true, okay? So let's, let's get to that nitty gritty for the liars. Like I get tired of having to, you know what I'm saying? Put you on front street but you're not finna get on here lying on my name. Like, my name is important to me. It really is. And this is Street News TV. And um, this is his wife, I believe. And I was like, see how we write? Like, we've been talking for a long time, y'all. Like, forever. Forever, ever, ever. Just talking nothing uh serious and he even gave me a shout out in his video so that's old and um right here it says right here right here right here i put hey stranger just wanted to say hey i've been super busy couldn't find your ig to hit you up because I couldn't, I think the name, I don't know if he changed the name or something, but I couldn't find him at all. And I was like, one of your subscribers got on my video, you suggested that I did on Butter. And said that you never talked to me before, and your baby mama bought you a Benz. I responded, that's amazing. People are so weird these days. Congrats on your success, maybe we could collab. And that was September the 4th. And she wrote back, I'm confused. Are you talking to me or my husband? My bad. It's my husband. Had to go back and read y'all messages. He locked up. He got three gears. Whoever told you his baby mama bought him a Benz, let him know. I'm his wife of five years. But I'll let him know you reached out. Good luck with your condition. September the 9th, I said, Hey, I just got out of the hospital. I was writing him because I remember him giving me a topic to do on a female in Chicago who got locked up named Butter. Now I'm saying it right. I kept saying Buddha in the other video. Some idiot wrote that comment about me not getting the topic from SNTV and included the Ben's part, which was ignorant for him them to say. What happened? For him to get locked up, if you do not mind me asking, and I'm so sorry to hear that. She wrote me back on Sunday. She said he violated his parole, so they revoked it, and they gave him three years. As you can see, I responded Monday, and I said, oh, no, I'm so sorry. So now that we then pulled out the receipts to everything, I just want everyone to do better. You know what I mean? Just do better. We got to do better. Because if y'all don't see the way this world is going and the signs of it, I don't know what to say. 
We don't have no more time to deal with toxic people. You don't have no more time to deal with toxic people. You don't have time to keep pouring into someone else's cup and they're not pouring into yours. All they're doing is pulling away from you. And you're steady trying to support and love and prove yourself. You have nothing to prove. You have nothing to prove. So thank y'all for letting me rant and everything. I think I'm going to end the video here. Um, but I just, yeah, I don't know, y'all. That This was just a whole rant. And I want everyone, hold up. <clears throat> had to you know get some water but i just want everyone to be happy to be healthy to be productive positive you know be at peace your peace matters protect your peace at all costs and if that means letting somebody that you didn't know since 2009 or 2010 if that means letting them go then baby just let them go because it's not worth it if they knew better, they do better. And I'm just so tired of dealing with people who know my illness and, you know, maybe I have to rest a lot more than other people. You know, maybe I don't feel like going out. And then the fact that C-19 is out here running rampant, I don't need to be hanging out with people anyway because I don't need to get that. That would be very detrimental to me. Rest in peace to all those who we have lost to C-19, to all families affected, friends affected, lives turned upside down. But I don't need to be around that in the first place. And for this person to just love to down talk me, to say something negative and then convince himself that he's doing this out of love to, to show support or whatever. No. Yeah, it took me a minute, you know, to wake up. I would say that I've been seeing it and I've been knowing that a lot of people need to get cut off. But I'm the type of person where I try to just keep giving people a chance to show me different. But I just cannot do it anymore. Sickle cell in itself is a lot to handle. So I can't keep sitting here trying to explain myself to somebody. Like some guy texts my phone and um, he saw it and all of a sudden wanted to pop off and you know, oh, you think you're gonna talk to somebody in front of my face? You think you're gonna do this? Um, excuse me, sweetie, but what are you talking about? If I wanna call my brother, I can call my brother. But whoever texted my phone, I ain't, I don't have no type of connection to that person like that. I don't. And why are you even all up in my phone? Because I'm going to tell you one thing. They'll make sure you don't see their phone. But when you sitting here and you on yours, they want to be glued to it like they pay your bill. You don't pay my phone bill. So what's the problem? What is the problem? Oh, he said he did this and that. Child, please, if he had, you wouldn't be sitting here. You would not be sitting here if that was the case. Because I'm over it. How much more can somebody deal with? Now I can see how other people feel. Like females who got kids with a dude and they just keep dealing with him. Like... Why am I doing that? And I don't have no type of attachment to this person. I don't have a child with this person. I'm not married or engaged to this person. Why am I sitting here putting myself through some toxic mess? Like every single day, this person will make an argument, I'm telling you, out of nothing. Out of completely nothing. All I text back was, doesn't make sense, but cool. And then you want it to go into the name calling and you know what I'm saying? If it's all of that and you feel that way, leave me alone. What do you keep texting me for? Because your number's not saved in my phone. It's not. Hate to blow, like hate to bring it to you like that. Your number's not saved in my phone. 
And if all you got is something negative to say about me, why do you keep talking to me? Why? Like, why? Why? I don't get it. Yes, I have sickle cell. Yes, I'm in the hospital a lot. Yes, I rest a lot. Yes, my priority is school. Sitting around chilling with you all day is not going to make me no money. But I guarantee you, if I needed a dime, I couldn't ask that person. I can tell you that right now. If I needed anything, I could not ask that person. And that says a lot. I don't want to keep sitting here talking to people that I got to go pick them up, bring them to my house, drop them back off home. I don't want to deal with that. I'm tired of fixing people. I'm tired of nonsense, bruh. I'm tired of arguing with somebody. I don't even know what the H-E-L-L -L I'm arguing with you for. Like, I don't even get it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why? But I'm going to tell you one thing. I don't care how anybody feels after the day because they finna see a whole new side of Kiara. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I have a, a sister watching me, and I have to be a role model for her so she knows not to deal with this type of stuff. Like, it, I just don't have time for it. I just don't. Why do, as like as a whole, as people, why do we even have to deal with toxic people? Somebody who loves you would not be toxic. When I tell you it's an argument every fucking day, and then this person comes out of nowhere the next two or three days and want to act like they ain't say what they said or like they didn't do what they did, get away from me, bruh. It's that simple. Like, why do I need back to the whole situation with, oh, I need to move out my mom's house? Why do I need to do that? For what? I contribute to this household. So why do I need to leave here to go experience life? What, is, what are you talking about? No, you want me to sit here and leave my house so that you can have somewhere to go. Because you know my mom don't play them games. You ain't finna have no dude in her house and be laid up. You know, it's a respect thing. You ain't finna be... Coming over here, <clears throat> sorry, you ain't finna be coming over here two and three in the morning like you running something. She does not play that. And I can't say that I mind. Because even if I did live by myself, I would live, I'm a hermit crab. I like to be to myself. I would rather sit there and read a book or write in my journal or do my assignments. I don't like going out. And with C-19 out here, who needs to be going out like that anyway? Like, I cannot even believe I've been talking about this for a whole hour. But it's not only for me. This is for someone else. I don't know who, but I'm pretty sure if you can resonate with everything that I'm saying, then this is for you. It's time for you to do what you got to do. You done been thinking about this for a long time. <clears throat> you done been seeing that this person not for you. And it's time for you to execute. It is time for you to execute. This is your, this is your sign right here. That person is not going to go anywhere with you. Why? Because you have a whole different purpose. And when it comes, I'm not trying to be religious, but when it comes to God, if somebody does not meet that purpose and that calling that you have, you cannot continue or it's going to make things hard for you. I understand that everybody wants to have, wants to say like, oh, God has a calling on everybody. And I don't believe that because a lot of people out here don't even have a relationship with God because they, they don't want to. It's mainly just because they don't want to. It's not because they've gone too far because you've never gone too far to turn back around. You've never done too much to call out his name. 
that's not true. But some people are just no good for you. And even if it takes 11 years or whatever for you to realize that, at least you realize it. Like, just to let it go. Be like, you know what? I don't wish no harm on you. I don't wish nothing bad on you. But me and you, this isn't going nowhere. You don't have to want to be evil. You don't have to want to be mean. But the truth is the truth. I will never understand the purpose of somebody saying, I need to move out of my mom's house to experience life. I'm 32 years old, and I've experienced a lot. And my mom and sister have saved my life a lot. My sister was here when I had a seizure. Matter of fact, that seizure happened after arguing with that particular person because they were calling me a liar and saying all type of stuff to me. I'm a very passionate person. So when I get upset, you don't see a 4'11 female. You're going to see a giant because that's how passionate I am. And that person literally argued with me so much till I had I had a seizure, y'all. And my sister was the one to help me through that. Do you think that person even asked how I was doing? Do you think they even gave a crap? No. And they still don't till this day. Even with me being have been have been in a coma and two hip replacements and having sickle cell, the first thing he wants to say, Oh, I know somebody with sickle cell and they don't take pain medicine like that. That's some BS and they're lying. They're completely lying. Because sickle cell hurts like H-E-L-L hockey stick. It hurts. I can't. It hurts. So anyone saying, oh, well, they don't take it, he could be completely lying. Because I'm noticing that it's always somebody talking about their sister, auntie, cousin, uncle got sickle cell. Oh, I know somebody with that. But then you act the way that you act toward me. So you can't. It's not possible. Because if you did, you would understand, I need to rest. You will understand, I cannot sit here and be arguing with you and being stressed out. So stop trying to start stuff with me on purpose to say nasty stuff to me, to be degrading to me. Like when I was, um, like I said, I had just had my hip replaced. Oh, all you want to do is sit in the house and take your medicine. You don't do nothing. You're not going to get nowhere in life. You're nothing like the person I first met. You right, because at that point, I had never had hip replacements. You right. At that point, I had never had a seizure. I had never been in a coma. So you right, I was not that person that I am now, six years ago. You right. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm that same person who, no matter what, continue to get my education, continue to get a degree, a certification, diploma, whatever you want to call it. So why you want to sit here and say all of that? State facts. State facts. Like, I'm just done. I'm done. I even asked my mom, why am I always meeting these people that I got to fix? Why am I always meeting these people who got problems? I don't want to do this no more. And the answer to that question, I'm about to answer it all, and I'm going to end this video because I'm done talking about it. Um, the whole thing is you attract what you are. So until I start working on me and pushing those elements away from myself, I'm going to keep attracting stuff like that. Because instead of dealing with it, I'm always suppressing it. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't talk about it. I'll write in my journal. But you attract what you are. Right? Right. So, at the end of the day, it just is what it is. And I love y'all way too much, even if I don't know y'all. I love y'all way too much to let y'all keep being mistreated by whoever is in your life that's toxic. And whoever that's in my life is toxic. Today, that's it. Cut those strings. Cut them. 
cut them. Yeah, you might come out with your heart, you know, broken. Our our hearts never break even, but you will come across somebody who will pour enough into you to make your heart whole again. But we're not going to be able to meet that person if we keep holding on to who makes us comfortable. You know what I'm saying? It's not about that. This got to stop. We can't be doing this. Like, I I got friends. Well, no, not even friends. I don't want to call them basket cases, no friends. I got associates who literally stuck stuff out with dudes that cheated and lied and all of that just so they could marry them and realize that dude is not going to change. He's still going to keep doing what he's doing, but he's going to do it 10 times as worse. Because now he can see, oh, you know what? She that desperate. She need me. So I'm going to do whatever I want to do because she ain't going to let me go. That's how some of these dudes think. And women, too. They think that you're so desperate, so needy, that you you just will keep taking it. And a lot of people do that because, yeah, they just do not want to let something go. They don't want to start over. But what's worse than starting over than knowing that you done wasted 14 years of your time that you can't get back? You can't get none of that time back. I know a woman right now who is grown as I don't know what and been dating somebody for 30 years. How do you do that? How do you date for 30 years if a dude don't know what he want to do with me outside of two years? It's done. Like, if we don't know if we're going to go in the direction of being engaged, whatever, kids, I don't want children because I have sickle cell and I don't want to pass this painful disease on. But other than that, looking at the way this world is going, I don't want to bring something so precious and so innocent into this world because this world is cruel. I don't want to do that because I'm not going to be able to handle it. I'm not. I'm going to fight the world for my baby. That's how it would have to be. And after seeing how women get left by themselves to be the mother and the father, coming from a single parent home myself, my mom was always mother and father and I seen how much she had to go through I see how much my family members and friends ex-friends whatever have to go through I even had a friend who had a baby by a dude thinking that would shift his focus off of me he liked me originally I wasn't feeling it so and he will he will say this to this day He only talked to her because I didn't want to talk to him. And a baby came out of it. And I'm just like, bro, that's foul. But this is what people do. They're trifling like that. And now, I'm not saying anybody, like, children are blessings. They're complete blessings. And if you get the calling to be a mother, you got one of the biggest gifts in the world. But to sit there and the only reason you dated somebody was to get back at me, that's stupid. Yeah, now you have a wonderful, beautiful child out of the situation, and that's great, but who does that? Why would you do that? Why? And I was like, well, did you tell her that? Because I don't really need to know all that. When I see certain stuff in guys and I'm not attracted to them the way they're attracted to me, it's not the fact that, you know, Is something about them that's unreachable. It's because I don't want to deal with the bull. And that's the same situation with this guy. No. Always, well, we need to have a baby. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Absolutely not. And I'll tell you one thing. I might not be cool with my ex-fiance to this day. But the one thing that he did say to me, that dude right there, is not ever going to be what you want. And you always going to be chasing him. And it's not even a point of chasing at this point. Because I don't want a relationship with nobody. Like, congratulations to all my exes who done got married, got kids. Great. I'm still not ready for that. Even at 32 years old, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Like, that's a whole lifetime of 
dealing with somebody. And I don't want to do that. Because, like, you can't just be like, you know what, I don't want to date you no more. You got a child involved, so you have to deal with that person. You just have to. I'm not ready for all of that. I'm over it. And until I can actually fix myself or whatever and be where I want to be at in life, I'm not going to get married. I want to finish school. I want to write a book. I want to be one of the top Duval YouTubers, which I will be. And you're going to see it because I believe in speaking things into existence. So make sure you remember my name, Kiara, K. I-A-R-A. Gorgeously real. And I made that on my own. Basically because of how I look and how blunt I am. That's how that came about. I'm going to do a video, um, I'm guessing, uh, on camera or whatever. Because I got some more stuff that I want to talk about. But I feel like this video was not only for me to just get out how I feel, but someone else or someone or people or whatever, someone else needs to hear this. It's okay for you to let go. It's okay. That person's not going to change. And you don't need to keep dimming your light and your shine to make them happy. Because you deserve better. And when y'all come on this channel... I want y'all to feel like y'all are talking to, you know, like family. That's how I want this to feel. You can inbox me whenever. My Instagram and my Facebook are in the comment section. It's in the description box. Um, so you can reach out to me. You just have to send me a, um, what's it called? A message request. Because if you're not my Facebook friend... It won't let you, like, just, you know, send me anything. So, write me, and I will definitely make sure I approve the message request. But let me know, like, hey, I'm from your YouTube channel. Let me know that. Because a lot of times, I don't know. So, that's why I won't respond. So, I want everyone, like I said 20 minutes ago when I said I was going to end the video, have a blessed day. Um, if I don't get to post again today, I will definitely post tomorrow. So, give me some ideas of what y'all want me to talk about in the comment section. I'm not going to put an intro on here because the video is already long as I don't know what. Um, but yeah, just hit me up. I'm here. I'm around. I'm here. So, love you guys and thank you for listening to... This long behind rant. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe. Share the video if you would like. Please leave a thumbs up. Because if you don't, I don't get noticed by the algorithm. But if you do, you know what I'm saying? It'll benefit me. If you want to donate to me or the channel, my cash app is gorgeously real which will also be in the comments and the description. And if you don't want to do any of that, that's cool. Thank you for just tuning in. Love you guys so, 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 so much. Please stay safe.